I'm Sherwin Damdar, Director of Product Management and Innovation at Garlock. I'm Chris Tone, Senior Product Engineer for Clojure. And we're here to talk about some of the challenges associated with sealing shafts in mixers in the food and pharmaceutical industry. Chris, tell me, if I'm an OEM manufacturer of mixers or an end user of these mixer in food and pharmaceutical applications, what are some of the problems I'm going to face? We're always looking at increased processing efficiency. So what that means is faster rotating speeds. That means dry running conditions that are generating a lot of heat. Um, and essentially what we need to do is we need to ensure that the product stays in the mixer and contamination stays outside of the mixer away from the product. But we also have to make sure that the lip material is compliant according to the specific industry standards. Um, the seals themselves in these types of mixers are being used for things like cheese, chocolate, and even pharmaceutical items. And what can we at Garlock do to help solve some of these problems? Well at Garlock we actually can offer the PS seal and the PS seal is essentially utilizing our, our Gylon material which is USP class 6 approved, it's uh, FDA compliant, as well as the EC1935 compliant. Uh, the PS seal itself is offered in a couple different configurations. We've got the single lip design that's offered in a standard or a uh, reverse lip design, and then we've got the dual lip design that's offered in the dual opposed ver or the tandem orientation. So the single lip might be an orientation that's uh, just for retaining product, or if it's flipped in the opposing direction is for excluding product. Same thing for the reverse lip as well. The dual opposed lip, we have one lip that's facing product and then we have the opposing lip that's actually facing contamination. And then for the more aggressive type environments, we have the dual tandem. So the dual tandem is in place so that in case the first lip starts to have some wear and cause some leakage, the secondary lip is there to take up the slack. Great, thanks for sharing those insights with us, Chris.